Hello and welcome back to the excavation of Hobbs Barrow. We are on a mission today. We need to find a milkman and find Mr. Ambrose. So the milkman is missing and Miss Tompkins would like me to find him. It is in my interest to help her. So if we find the milkman, she will distract Miss Fenchurch, I think her name was, and we'll be able to pick a flower to put on Albert Plancy's grave, which is what we need to do here. Uh, Mr. Plancy said her husband loved uh, hi uh, Hippostrum, <laughs> a red odorless flower with a long stem. If I find one, I can bring it to her to lay on his grave. And if I do that, she will bake me some puddings, which I will give to Lord Panswick, who will then give me the workmen I need for my excavation, and then we can uh, excavate Hobbs Barrow, which is the aim of this game, kind of. So we've been told that the milkman is um, normally on the road east of Bewley, which I believe is this road here. Now I have only spoken to one person, I may need to go back and speak to some other people, but let's just see. There's something ahead on the road. Here we go, perfect. A dead milkman. What is it? My oh my god! What the heck? What? Oh, well that could be the thumbnail, I reckon. <laughs> I'm going to help you. Does not look like he's having a good time. What cruelty is this? Let me free you, sir. Curses. The rope is bound too tightly. I can't even free his mouth. Don't okay. worry, sir. I'll find a way to free you. God, he sounds really distressed. We've got a knife. Please hold still. I I'm going to cut you free. I was trying to stab people last time. He had been so time. tightly bound that I could barely cut through without hurting him further. Oh. His mouth was stuffed full of flowers of a most peculiar scent. Yeah, I'm a little bit worried by that. What sort of effect they're having on him. I was dismayed at such savagery and wondered if the feral folk Father Roach had mentioned were responsible for this abhorrent act. I'm not sure about that. After some considerable effort, I managed to cut him free. Are you all right? I... who were lost in visions of... of hell. Of hell itself. The devil. I saw the devil. Who did this to you? I... don't remember. Oh, the terrible sights I saw. I won't forget them till my last breath. Are you Mr. Ambrose? I... Yes. Yes. Edward Ambrose. You were to meet Miss Tompkins today. Oh, my love. Oh, my darling love. Let me take you to her. Here, take my hand. As we made the arduous trek to Panswick Manor, I probed Mr. Ambrose on who had done this to him. He insisted that he didn't remember anything, except for his nightmarish visions. So then flowers also making him hallucinate. My love! Eddie! <laughs> Jesus, what happened to you? Were you in a fight? Now, fret not, my love. I thought you'd abandoned me. Never. Thank your friend here for helping me out of a bind. Oh, Eddie. Let's get out of here, my darling. Hang on. Ah, oh, she's just... <laughs> right in front of her. For garters. Bring it on. Oh, stick it where the sun don't shine, you bitter old sow. Yes, give it to her. Here you are, ma'am. Thank you, Miss Tompkins. Hey. No, thank you for finding Love my it. poor Eddie. I thank you, lass. Let's go, Eddie. I'm never setting foot on this godforsaken estate again. Good luck, you two. Fantastic. Oh, I love a happy ending. Okay. Uh, right, that's... Uh, is there... Okay, can we get a little bit closer up to this thing? I think we're going to need this hmm. at some point. It's a symbol of some kind. 
a moon, perhaps? So in our father's journal, there were mentions of two moons, and we, we know there's another carving on over another door somewhere else. So we will probably need that at some point, but I don't think we're going to be able that to get well it. well out of my reach. Yeah, we'll, we'll come back to that. That's not important at the moment. Uh, okay, so we have the flowers. Let's go to the... Where do we need to go? How do we get there? Go to the church. Go to the grave. Put the flower on the grave. Perhaps Mrs. De Plancy oh. would like to lay these flowers herself. Fair enough. Yeah, okay. I guess so. I guess so. So she's in the church. So we're doing this to cheer her up a little bit. And maybe she'll bake us a cake. So let's give her the flower. I have something for you. You found them. Oh, you dear child. Let's take them straight to Albert. You'll come with me, won't you? Absolutely. Of course, Mrs. De Plancy. Ryan again. You know, the things I miss most about him are the things that used to annoy me. The click of his jaw as he chewed his sandwiches, leaving his tools all around the house. The way he'd never back down from an argument. He's just quiet at home now. Silence. The funny thing is, that's what he always craved. Peace and quiet. He were a good man, our Albert. Sounds like he was. I'm so sorry. Do you fear death, pet? Um. Wow. That's that's kind of a, a question, isn't it? I think if I personally, it's not. It's not death I fear. It's the. It's the loss that goes with it. Although, because when you die, you know that it's going to... Uh, for you, it's going to cease. It's not going to bother you. But it's the thought of what you leave behind. That's the, that's the worst part. And, and what other people think as well. You know, they, they'll, they'll use you. Um, it's the part in between. In between what? Um, let's go for that one. It's the part in between that concerns me most. Whatever do you mean? My father had an accident, many years ago. Ever since, he's been in a state we can neither speak nor move. Oh, that does sound dreadful. I'm sorry, pet. I believe his mind to still be active, but perhaps this is the worst of all fates. That does sound awful. To be awful. trapped in one's own body and unable to express oneself while the world continues around you. That is what I fear. Maybe he'll get better one day. I'd do anything to make it so. Oh, that, that would be the worst. Look beautiful. They do. Albert will be smiling down on us. Pitt, I left my basket inside the church. You'll find some Bakewell puddings in there. Yes, thank you. You can have them. Oh, you... I insist. You've brought an ounce of happiness into my day, dear. It's only just that I return some. Thank you, Mrs. De Plancy. To be truthful with you, I was saving him for myself. I shouldn't be so selfish. Lord forgive me. You're nothing of the sort. I'll stay here with Albert a bit longer. You go back to your dear pit. Lord be with you. And you, Mrs. De Plancy. Fantastic. There's some heavy themes in this game. Um, <laughs> I was didn't know, I mean, I didn't know what to expect when when uh, I started playing this. I'd only seen a trailer for it. It looks really good. Um, I must admit, the game so far has not been as spooky as I was expecting it. I was kind of expecting it to be a lot more eerie and scary. And it really hasn't been that, but uh, it's fine. Here they are. I am enjoying it. Bakewell puddings. Right, so we need to get out of here. We can't use the map from inside the church. Uh, right, let's go to... Uh, ah, the Eastern Road. Do we want to just... Let's just go back there for a moment, because I want to just examine what's going on here. These flowers were stuffed into Mr. Ambrose's mouth. Let's take some. These flowers 
Perhaps they had a queer effect on Mr. Ambrose's mind. It could be useful. So Perhaps we have a... I could show them to Mildred Walker. Oh, that's a really good idea. Bakewell, 32 miles. Bewley really was in complete isolation before the railway line came in. So the cat's here. It's Herbert. He's lapping up the spilt milk. And milk. Spilt milk is soaking into the mud. The milk is not salvageable. Oh. Okay. Uh, cart. Mr. Ambrose's cart has been smashed to pieces. The cart is beyond repair. Okay. And Bakewell those... is 32 miles in that direction. A journey not to be taken by foot unless completely necessary. Okay. So that is everything there. So that's fine. So we did pick up a pink flower. It's one of the flowers that had been stuffed into Mr. Ambrose's mouth. So I think before we go back to Lord Panswick, I really want to go and see if we can find out more about this flower. Uh, let's go to Mildred Walker's cottage. And let's give her this flower. Good day. Do you recognise this flower? Hellebore. Quite common, in fact. Is it known for any special properties? Aye, many depending on who you ask. Some say it can be used in curses or incantations. They say it has the power to alter perception, opening a passage to the subconscious or another world. Hmm. So it causes one to hallucinate? You could say so. I certainly wouldn't recommend eating it. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of confirmed what we already suspected. So I don't know what we really learned from that. But I guess it could come in useful later on. Okay, well, let's go back to Panswick Manor. Here he is. The vision returns. I come bearing gifts. Freshly baked gifts? Yes. Three of Mrs. De Plancy's famous Bakewell puddings. Ho, 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 ho. You are an amusing creature, Thomasina. Call me a creature. What do you mean? You must think me a scoundrel of the highest order for asking you to undertake such folly. Of course I would have lent you my men either way. I merely desired an excuse to share a cake with you. Lord Panswick. I take no pleasure in watching you scurry about Bewley to fulfil my every whim. Oh. Or do yes. I? Yes, yes you do. I do not find this amusing in the slightest. Oh, he is slimy. You have no idea what I had to go through to get these for you. Oh, I do, I do. And that's what I admire about you. Tenacity. Even in the face of something you know to be absurd. You don't give up, do you? Never. Though in this case, I ought to have. <laughs> now then, will you share one of these tempting confections with me? Well, yes, I will, because I wanted to eat one of these anyway. Why not? Splendid. I'm glad the rain doesn't put you off. You like to live a little dangerously, don't you, Thomasina? Let us stroll to the back. That sounds nice. Oh, romance on the moors, achievement unlocked. I don't think we so. We walked side by side down to the beck, Ooh, his hand occasionally brushing my oh, own. Oh, don't make me sick. Despite Lord Panswick's entertaining company, I had an overwhelming feeling that time was being wasted. We ate those cakes down by the beck, and as he attempted the most charming lines he could muster upon me, I only had one thing on my mind. And it was disgusting. Father. Oh. <laughs> it seemed worse. Could he be saved from his suffering? Was the answer to be found within Hobbs Barrow? Probably. I ached to find out. I didn't even notice the taste of those famous puddings. Well, I wanted to know if they were good or not. Oh, Seemingly disheartened by no. my lack of enthusiasm, Lord Panswick soon marched me back toward the ruined chapel. Chaps, listen up. You're to assist Miss Bateman's excavation tomorrow. What time, Miss Bateman? Early morning, if you don't mind. We'll be there whenever you need us, Miss. Hobbs Barrow. On the Bryden estate, if I'm not mistaken. We'll be there. Take your tools with you. Miss Bateman will need every assistance we can provide her with. It's no bother. Splendid. Thank you, lads. Now, if you'll excuse me, 
I'll see you later, my dear. Thank you, Lord Panswick. We're finishing up here, miss. See you tomorrow morning, all right? Certainly. I appreciate your help. Well, that's a relief to have my crew assembled for tomorrow. It's getting dark and cold. Time to head back to the plough and furrow. Okay, so I can actually go inside now. Um, do I want to do that? The grand entrance to Panswick Manor. I fear Miss Fenchurch okay. might come at me with her pots and pans. It's best I stay out here. Fair enough. It's getting quite dark now. Okay, let's go back to... Um, we do have a music uh, thing going on at the uh, Plough and Furrow. There's a musician. He should be performing, I think. Evening, Miss Bateman. Good evening, Stanley. Your Lordship. Stanley, my good man. To what do we owe the pleasure of your visit, Your Lordship? I've come to wish Miss Bateman good fortune for her grand excavation tomorrow. I'm really rather curious as to what she might turn up. As am I, Your Lordship. An exciting time for Bewley. Wouldn't you agree, Stanley? Oh, yes, Your Lordship. Very, very exciting. It sounds so patronizing. Please, allow me the pleasure of buying you a drink. A welcome antidote to the wind's bite. Wouldn't you say, Stanley? Yes, indeed, Your Lordship. Oh, um, we have just spent a lot of time with him, and quite frankly, he's making me sick, so I'm going to say no. No, thanks. Miss Bateman, you're no fun. I should keep a clear head for tomorrow. Good thinking. In that case, I shall bid thee the fondest of farewells. May you conquer Hobbs Barrow and find all that you desire. Thank you, Your Lordship. I've reminded my chaps there to meet you at Hobbs Barrow in the morning. Thank you again, Lord Panswick. Till we meet again, fête des beaux rêves. Mr. Shoulder? Your Lordship? Oh, that sounds rather frosty. We'll find out about that. Um, I hope I don't live to regret turning him down there, but yeah, let's... Uh, Hello again, Mr. Shoulder. Speak to Mr. Shoulder Miss Bearman. I've recruited the help of some local labourers to help with the excavation. Marvellous. When do we start? Tomorrow morning, first thing. Wonderful. Can I count on your assistance? Well, of course. I'll meet you here at the plough and furrow. Thank you for your time. Aye, Miss Bateman. I'm looking forward to tomorrow. Yeah, I must admit I am as well, actually. You've changed your tune, Stanley. An exciting time for Bewley. I thought you didn't want me to excavate Hobbs Barrow. Well, uh, I... Uh, what can I get you? I'm fine for now, <laughs> thank you. Sucking up to the Lord. Is he playing? There's nothing else I wish to discuss at the moment. I thought we were supposed to be playing tonight. I'll leave those two to their conversation. Okay. I was Arthur Tiller. Oh, speak to him. Oh, he's drunk again. Arthur? I've remembered something. What is it, Arthur? Not here. Oh. Meet me outside in the alley. Alright, that sounds sinister. He's stinking drunk, but let's hear what he has to say. Okay, let's just speak to Cyril first. Hello again, Cyril. You're still here? Leave me be, lass. Alright. Okay, well, let's go and see what uh, Arthur has to say out in the alley. I feel this could be the last alley we ever walk into, but... Or maybe the last alley he'd ever walk into. Is the horse still here? Should be. What is it? First of all, I must apologise to you. That night we met, when I vanished. Yes? Well, there were a man in the loo. A hooded man. He threatened me with a beating if I told you anything about what I saw. Oh, Arthur, that's terrible. What did you see? That's the thing. I hadn't the foggiest idea what he were on about. It was a drink, you see. I'm an embarrassment, Thomasina. No, you're not, Arthur. Here's what I need to tell you. I've remembered what you were on about. Oh? Aye. 
Standing in the woods today, I knew there was something. I waited. I concentrated. And it finally came back to me. Please, you're keeping me in some serious suspense here. All right, all right. It were a couple of days before I met you. Yeah, we saw him in the woods and he was acting very strange. The, uh, the Reverend was also acting very strange in these woods as well. Hurry now, Leonard. I'm not as quick as I used to be. Oh, hey, this yeah. leg is getting worse by the day. <clears throat> yes, yes. I'm constantly made aware of your failing health. Do not fear. You said he has promised you the reward of your return strength. Oh, God. But aye, and it can't come soon enough. Pledged themselves as an ancient sure that it beast, must be her blood. Oh, no. Aye, she's family. And she gets here in two days. Aye. We must bring her to the site as soon as she arrives. No, no, no. Your lordship, with all due respect, we've been through this. We need to ease her into the idea. She would laugh in our faces if we just asked for it. Who said we would ask? He told me that she needs to give it willingly. This little scheme of yours better work, Leonard. It will, your lordship. We've got the perfect bit. <gasps> Wait. Who goes there? Did you hear something? Ah, a moonlight tryst. Oh, no. After something, are you, Mr. Tillett? Your lordship, let me... Save your words, you drunken wretch. Off you go, skedaddle. Don't make me ask twice. I do wish you wouldn't spend so much time with that fool. It's beneath a woman of your standard. It's sad, really. That dog you're in they serve here has rather pickled the man's brain. I do not like this man at all. Him. Mr. Tillett is a nice man. Oh, come now, come now. I shall bid thee adieu once more, but I do not wish for this to come between us. All the very best wishes for your excavation tomorrow, my dear. Thanks. Yeah, do not like him. Do not like him. Okay, I fear for Mr. Tillett's health now. Uh, I guess we just... Uh... Ah, now he's playing. These cereals covered up his ears. <laughs> oh, Stanley's had enough. Oh, okay. This is what I was talking about when I was saying I was expecting spooks. song why did it go all crazy when uh, Standy walked away A mournful song. Sounds quite sinister. It's good to reckon that I can't play himself. Oh, jeez. That's horrendous. They should have had a lot more things like that in this game.
I'm, I'm just going to let this play out. It did say escape to skip, but I want to see what happens. Listen to the full thing. awesome so is anything strange gonna happen tonight or oh, never dream never dream right let's go and see if that goblin is there yep so Thomasina the journal proves I'm telling you the truth, does it not? It does. Good. Now listen. I can help him again. We can help him. Together. How? All those years ago, your father entered this barrow with the goal of binding me within it. All because the people of Beulia had gotten it into their heads that sacks not were cause of their plight. I tell you, Thomasina, I were not. Your father botched his incantation, leaving me in this weakened state, stuck in this limbo. As for him, well, you know how he ended up. This... this doesn't sound right. Incantations. My father was... is... a man of... You don't know your father, Thomasina. How old were you? A child of not even five, six years? You need to enter this barra and undo what your father did. The spell must be undone. Then not only will I regain my strength, but your father will too. But how do I... Blood. The truest symbol of life and death. It's the life which flows within you. But it's also death once it escapes. I don't understand. Worry not how you'll undo what's been done. When the time comes, you'll know exactly what to do. Time is short. Your father and I grow weaker by the hour. Go! Save your father! Oh, do we trust him? I don't know. I must undo what has been done. Father, I'm coming. Okay. Um, right, let's just check our little to-do menu. Yeah, we just got to excavate. Time has come. Uh, okay, let's go. We've got a little bit of time left before we have to end the episode. We'll go for about another 10 minutes or so. We'll, uh, we'll see what happens. Good morning. Stanley? Ah, Miss Bateman. Mr. Shoulder left a note for you. Thank you, Stanley. Miss Bateman, meet me at my home as soon as you read this. There's no time to waste, Leonard. Oh, there were a key with it, too. Hmm. Okay. Still raining. Miss Bateman, I beg you, in the name of God, leave this town. Father Roach, what is the meaning of this? There's nought for you here, lass. Clear off. I beg you, Miss Bateman. Father Roach, Mr. Farnaby, here to wish Miss Bateman good luck for her excavation, gentlemen. Am I Eck? Mr. Kemp, you know. An excavation strongly supported by Lord Panswick, no less. I wish you well with your findings, Miss Bateman. May the Lord strengthen you and guard you from the evil one. Yeah, little children. 
Guard yourselves from idols. What does that mean? Good luck, Miss Bateman. Thank you. Wow, I've yeah, I'm not entirely sure what's going on. I want, I mean, I could go. Sh I could use. Oh, I was to say I can use the map, but I guess maybe I need to come across a few more people here. I must make haste to Mr. Shoulder's residence. All right, fair enough. Let's let's we'll go the. Uh, uh, how do I get there again? Oh, this way. And this way. Oh. I must make haste to Mr. Shoulder's residence. Oh, is that not the way? I've gone the wrong way. But you're not letting me use the map, though, so... Uh... I must make haste. Oh, my God. Okay, well, why are you letting me go this way? Oh, I know where it is. It's this way. Getting a bit lost. Ah, uh, it's up here. I must make haste to Mr. Oh, seriously. Why am I... Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. A crow. It's dead. The poor thing is beyond help. That's not a good sign. Oh, here we go. Oh, he wanted to kill the something monster, didn't he? Douglas? Okay. Douglas dropped his toy sword. It's just a toy. It's no use to me. Alright. I'm a little confused as to what's going on. It's, it's now starting to get a little bit... a little bit strange. Are we going to meet the girl here? No. Oh, it's a small what's box. This? What's this? A box. It's locked. I thought the key might be to his door, but I suppose... Mr. Shoulder, I got your note. Explain yourself. Curses. It's not there again, is he? Okay, let's get this box unlocked. The key fits. Ah, oh, it's another, another one. one of these peculiar stones. That's the third one we've got now. Maybe P. A. Does this mean Mr. Shoulder was the third man on my father's excavation? Yeah, but he was. There's a note underneath. My heart is his heart, my light is his light. Like Saul became Paul, I'll be restored by the light. Okay, so that's that note. All right. Okay, let's just check over here. We don't want to miss anything. The hens have gone. Slightly That's concerning. Some looking beast. Because we all know chickens are used for sacrifices. All right. So it's not letting me skip anything by doing the map. So we've obviously got little things to encounter on the way. Um, so I'm guessing what we could do now is just make our way to Hobbs Barrow, I suppose. Uh, this way? Yes. I'm going to just check on the goat. Make sure that's not dead. Like the crow. Oh, it's gone. Oh, goats are also used in sacrifices. Quite commonly. Oh, this is not looking good. Oh, dear. Good morning, men. Thank you for braving the weather. Aye, miss. A little rain is no bother. So, may we start? Yes, we've not a moment to waste. He's not bothered by anything, is he? And so, the excavation of Hobbs Barrow began. Horace and his men learnt quickly and went about their work with care. 
We toiled for hours, rolling away great stones, removing mortar and masonry put in place by Father, Mr. Bryden, and Mr. Shoulder. They had gone to great lengths to seal the barrow. I should have realized their efforts were not only to keep us out, but also to keep something contained within. Eventually, our careful application of pick, trowel, and shovel gave way to open space. A stagnant, cadaverous odour was let forth. The seal was broken. I couldn't believe my eyes. Once again, I'm just going to commend the voice acting. It's absolutely phenomenal. Splendid work, all of you. Step inside, miss. We'll be right behind you. Thank you, Horace. I can't wait a moment longer. That sounds dodgy. They're going to shut me in or something. Flowers? I can't get my head around this. How could they possibly grow here? Horace, come see this. They're going to shut me in a bit. Horace? Okay. Wow. Okay, well, we've made it inside. I'm really hoping that now is the point the game is going to get super scary because I've been waiting for it to get scary. Uh, things are certainly throwing up a few kind of red flags for me at the moment, uh, the way of things happening. Um, but we have finally gotten into Hobbs Barrow. Um, so I'm sensing we, we're approaching the end of the game, but I could be completely wrong. I've got no idea how long this game will last. Um, so I think now is a good point to leave it. A bit of a cliffhanger because I'm desperate to find out what's going on in, in this in this place. Um, so we're going to come back tomorrow with the uh, potentially last episode, but I don't know. There could still be loads more. I just don't know. Um, but yeah, we'll uh, we'll continue tomorrow. Hopefully, you're enjoying it as much as I am. Um, it's now getting super interesting. So we'll we'll come back and uh, yeah, we'll explore the barrow. Um, so yeah, so if you have made it this far, thank you so much. Do leave a like and a comment in the comment section and subscribe if you haven't already. So make sure you follow along with this story because I don't know about you, but I want to know what's going on. Um, so I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.